Good morning, it's Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to give you an iMovie tutorial that's how you should set up your iMovie, how to get started in iMovie correctly. This is really important because people get really confused using iMovie because you have what are called projects and you have what are called events and it gets confusing where certain media is. You might start a new project and not and import videos into it and then go back to it and not be able to find where those videos are if you don't understand a couple basic things that I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So let's get started. So first off in iMovie, and this is the desktop edition, check out my full iMovie tutorial playlist if you want to see um, tutor video tutorials on how to edit on the phone, but this is the desktop edition in this video. So there's basically two areas that you need to be aware of when you set up your first project in iMovie. There's projects and there's media. You click these two buttons up here. Media are the raw clips, images, and videos that you import to your project to edit. Projects, think of projects as your, your movies or your videos, okay? So first off, when we come into iMovie for the first time, let's set up a new event okay so there's there's also these events events are are when you import media and if you click on these you can import directly to these events so let's make a new event by clicking file new event okay and it's gonna name it today's date but let's name it whatever the project is and I recommend that you organize these by a specific project so let's say we went out and we filmed a family trip okay family AK 2020 something like that I would name it something to that effect and then everything related to that vacation you would import into here okay and, that, and I'm not going to show you in this video how to import I will show you that in the next video if you want to learn that you can go to the next video in the iMovie tutorial playlist on teach mom how then so you organize that now Think of it like this, every clip or image or song that we put into this event, iMovie calls it, all the media we put in here, that's our library of footage that could go into the movie. That's not necessarily what's going to end up in the video or in the project, okay? That's just our raw footage. That's what we'll pull from when we make our video. Once we've got that set up, you can start importing into that folder. If you start before that, you're going to get confused and you're going to have your clips mixed in with everything else you've ever done in iMovie and it's going to get confusing. So now that you've got that set up, let's go start our new project. The project is the video or the movie itself. That's what's actually going to go into our finished product. So we click create new and you can do either a trailer where they've got these templates that do kind of fun trailers or you can do a movie. You decide what it is. If you do a trailer, it's going to be a template and you're going to basically just follow their format and just swipe out their videos with your videos and your text. So if you want more freedom to edit it, you're going to want to do a movie. So I usually do movies, but trailers are kind of this is my timeline. This is where I'm going to edit any videos or photos that I drag into here will end up in my finished product if I leave them there. Then you have multiple iMovie events. So I could go back to other imports or other events, but I like to keep it organized so that everything for this is in one event. Now I go to this event and I can see what's here. You may, if you have a really sophisticated edit, you might have two or three events um, for different parts of that project. It's up to you, but that's how you keep it organized so you don't get confused. What some people do is they end up with all these events unlabeled and they don't know where anything is when they go back and try to edit things. So I recommend that you set that up right, okay? So that's just the basic layout of iMovie. Two things you're going to want to do before you even start editing is you're going to want to create a new event like I showed you in this video and name it relative to the project. Then you're going to want to create a new project. Okay. Now you'll notice that my project by default is just called My Movie. You're also going to want to name that project appropriately, something relevant to your project. Okay. So if I go back to projects, it will then ask me to save this and name it whatever I want to name it. So name it whatever you're going to make this video, something relevant. And now you've got your, your project named how you wanted it. If you ever want to rename it, you can go rename project right here. 
click on those three little dots in case you missed that. Click on these three little dots and you click rename project. Apparently it thinks I've made another video called Family Vacay 2020. So that's why it keeps adding the number two. All right, so I'll just change the name. But there's your project. I haven't done anything to it. When I'm ready to edit this, I double click on it. Now, some people get confused in here. A lot of my students used to get confused. They'd log in, they're like, hey, this isn't the project I wanted to work on. Well, chances are that project is under projects. You go back here and find the project you want to work on. Okay, I hope that was helpful. That's just some iMovie tutorial basics. That's what you need to do before you actually start editing your project. And if you'll do that, your projects will go a lot smoother and you'll, you'll be more organized. Okay? If you found this helpful, please subscribe to Teach Mom How and hit the bell. It will notify you every time I do a new how-to video. And in the next video I'm putting out, you will learn how to import your videos into iMovie so you can then start editing. Okay? Have a great day.